Hi, and welcome to this uh, prototype presentation of how to explore and build dynamic topic models in Divider. A dynamic topic model is a mathematical model that tells you how the thematic structure underlying a collection of text documents has evolved over time. And Divider allows you not only to do visual analytics on such dynamic topic models, uh, but also to build those models from any kind of data source with a few clicks. So let's see how it works. First we look how to explore an existing topic model. As an example we take a model of the papers in Sikkim proceedings since the year 2001. So we load this analysis. We see uh, the 20 topics in this topic model. Each topic is labeled using the four most important words for the topic. So here we have a topic on large-scale graph algorithms and if we click it we can see how the relevance of this topic for Sikkim has evolved over time since 2001. We can select multiple topics and see how they compare over time. Of course we can select it, uh, the sort topic list based on falling relevance over time, rising relevance over time, uh, rising relevance with a focus on recent uh, developments, so to explore the hot topics, uh, average relevance and uh, variance in relevance. At any point in time, uh, and for each topic we can click here, for example, uh, in 2008 uh, for the large-scale graph algorithm topic, which uh, papers in the proceedings have exposed this topic uh, uh, strongest. Yeah. If we select one, we can also see which other topics the paper is exploring, like database query structures, indexes, and uh, s similar stuff. If we want to find similar documents to the selected one here, we bring up the uh, document browser and see documents that are thematically similar to the selected one in the same year or in one of the following or previous years. Yeah, And we can build a whole browse tree here and remove things. Of course we can also search for a specific topic like Twitter. So we search for a specific word here and we find all the topics that expose this word to a certain degree. We can visualize those of course again. Then there's as a last thing we can look at the word evolution within each topic over time. So the words change in relevance uh, for the topics over time. So that's it from the browsing perspective. Next we'll look at how to build such a topic model. Building the topic model is done in a backend control panel that we're looking at here. It's kind of a, a user interface on top of a, a simplified workflow engine uh, that executes tool chains that construct a topic model from the data source, from the raw data source to the completed uh, topic model. Um, we can create execution chains, you know, by aligning uh, tools and linking their output to the input of a follow-up follow tool. We can add custom parameters like the, uh, and other stuff. So this is how we build a tool chain and once it's built uh, it's available for everyone to use. Um, for the Sikkim topic model of course we have used a DBLP crawler tool chain uh, that crawls the DBLP page of Sikkim, goes to each conference year proceedings, uh, visits the ACM digital library and uh, scrapes the abstract and, uh, and uh, the authors and stuff. Uh, so I would just have to click play here, provide the Sikkim conference URL and some other stuff and then it would start and appear in the running execution chain list here. I will not uh, show this now because creating such a topic model can take uh, from several hours to several days. Here we have some completed uh, runs. Here you see the tool outputs, they have all finished. We can see for example what kind of uh, log output the DBLP crawler produces. So it reports every scraped abstract. And yeah, basically uh, we have a set of tools mostly for conference and journal paper scraping from DBLP, but uh, as long as you can provide a command line tool that transforms some input into an output, you can basically build topic model using this approach using any kind of data source uh, that you can imagine. 
So thanks for watching and see you next time.